I used to teach in my Vodnish classes, one of the first questions always was, what is the most often word uttered by any given Vodnish top? Oops. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hello, and welcome back to What's the Safe Word? I'm Amp, and... I'm Dirk Kaber. And today, we're gonna talk about a simple chest harness. Specifically, there is this new book, it's called Tie Me Up, and I'd show you some of the pages, but there's lots of naked guys in it, so... <laughs> but today, we're gonna take their simple chest harness from the book and show it to you on our friend Dirk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, where's the tripod? <laughs> Which one? So Dirk, uh, why don't you go ahead and tell everyone a little bit about yourself before we start. A little bit about myself. Lived in New York for quite a while. I got involved with the GMSMA in those days from taking classes to occasionally teaching classes. Notably, classes on rope bondage and got a reputation for knowing a little bit about my stuff. And at one point, a porn company out here in San Francisco made friends with the director. He says, where to find somebody who knows their way around a hank of rope and a flogger that uh, looks like they should be doing the job too. So, would you ever be interested? And in? I've had an interesting little porn career since then. So yeah, here I am getting some more practice, or at least being practiced on. And, uh, and we're happy to have you here. Uh, or not. <laughs> Can we cut for a second? Can we just so, for this tie, you're going to need anywhere from 30 feet to 50 feet. This is a 30 foot right here. It is a quarter inch rope, and this is from Twisted Monk. This is their TARDIS blue, if you're a doctor. <laughs> so it's been. longer than it looks like it is. <laughs> yes, yes, bigger on the inside, just like my butt. So for this tie, you're going to just find the bite of the rope, the very center. You're going to put it over the shoulders of your model, and then underneath both of their arms. Real simple like. In the back, you're going to have those two ends meet and slide your end through the bite. Once you have that end through the bite, you're gonna go ahead and tighten and go the opposite direction. You're gonna go ahead and go back to the front, continuing along and go on the top of the chest, like so. Underneath the other arm, which smells nice. <laughs> continuing. You're going to go to the back again and through the second bite that you created, going the opposite direction again. Coming around back in front, we're going to go underneath the chest this time. Make sure to hug, lift, really give some attention to those nipples. In the back again, you're going to do the same exact step and go through that bite you've just created. And go up. Once you've gone through that bite, you're gonna go up through the rope that's around the neck, going underneath. Avoid pinching, if you can. And pull that rope all the way through. And down, like so. Making it nice and tight, but not too tight. Is that snug? It's stuck, yep. Good, mm -hmm. always check with your bottom. Once you've gone the opposite direction, you're gonna run this rope again through that bite you just came from. Pull it down nice and straight, keeping some tension here. And you're going to split your ends. Once you split the ropes, you're actually gonna create a hitch on both sides of this main bite, like so. And you have a nice little lock. Do that same thing on the other side. Create a little loop and pull one end all the way up. Take the end of the rope and have that go through your little loop. Pulling straight down and creating that hitch to lock it in place. From here, you can take these ends, create more hitches or locks. You could come back up here and wrap it around if you want a nice little handle braid, or you could even use this excess rope to tie the arms behind the back. You can do a little cuff behind the back if you want with that extra rope. You can really do whatever you'd like so long as it looks nice, feels comfortable, mm -hmm. yep. and is pretty effective. Can you get out? Or effectively pretty. <laughs> no, you're effectively pretty. Wait, no. Did I just insult you? Yeah. Anyway, so this tie is really great for someone with a nice broad chest, someone with nipples that like getting 
You could tie this little hitch here in the back up to the ceiling to keep them in place so you can just play with them and have your way. Really, at that point, it's just all up to your imagination. It's a good book. <laughs> yeah, again, that's tie me up. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually, Mr. S. Leather carries it, so you can find it there. Um, who's it written by? Steven Niedermeyer. But great book, lots of really great ties. And thank you again, Dirk, for joining us here. My pleasure, thank you. So at the end of the day, whether you're tying someone up or you're the demo bottom, always have a safe word. And today's safe word, Dirk, is... <laughs> I so rarely work with them. Uh, Ooh. Hmm. Play with my nipples. That's the safe word? Yes. Oh, okay. Wait, so you want me to stop then, or...? Uh, you have to figure that out, don't you? I mean... Anyway, leave a <laughs> like down below if you enjoyed having this bondage tie and having Dirk on. Leave a comment to join the conversation. Let us know what you want to see next time, and we'll see you guys next time on What's a Safe Word. Bye! Cheers all. <laughs> Where can people find you, Dirk? Either find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Dirk Caber, or I have a blog at DirkCaber.com. You're really good at that without like getting distracted. And no, trust me, it's, 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 it's a real effort to focus. We're gonna go ahead and, you can stay here, Daddy, and just keep rolling. Um, we're, we'll hey. be right back. Hey. We'll see you later. Hey. Bye. Bye.